what's up guys it's lucky here again and i welcome you guys back to this tutorial section guys in today's video i'll be teaching you or showing you how to create a bootable windows flash on your system so i'm making this video because of a good number of requests that i've gotten from my fans here on youtube and even of our whatsapp platform so we've gotten a good number of requests on that so today i'll actually try to uh, show you guys how to do that <music> So the first uh, requirement here is for you to get a USB flash drive. So for Windows 10, you must make sure that the flash drive is up to 8 gig or minimum of uh, 32 gig for Windows 10, right? So when you have that uh, with you, so the next place you're going to go to is to head over to uh, your browser, open any of your browser that you have here. I'm going to be using a Microsoft Edge and then you make sure you have your internet access on. So here, when you get to this search bar, you type in Microsoft Media Creation Tools. So I'm going to leave this link in the description of this video. So all you need to do is just to click on it and it will bring you to this page. So from here, you click on download Windows 10. Alright guys, so when you get to this page here, now if you are trying to create a Windows 11 bootable flash drive or other editions of os here you can drop down this icon and from here you can select the particular windows that you are trying to create here we are going to be creating a windows 10 bootable usb flash drive so when you have that done so from here you just click on you click on download tools now As you can see here the tool is downloading so we give it a moment for it to finish now if you have a strong uh, internet connection it should not take uh, more than two minutes so we just give it some time Alright guys, so after you download, then you close your browser and then you move over to the file explorer. Here you go to your download folder. So from here, here is the tool here. So all I need to do is just to uh, double click and then so for can run the tools. So here I'm getting a smart screen can't be reached right now so I'll just click on run now if you get that uh, error message just click on run so here I'll click on yes So the setup is trying to come up so the setup page is trying to load up now so we'll just give it some time for it to come up <coughs> all right guys so here you are going to get a screen like this getting few things ready so like i said you must make sure you have a good uh, internet connection as you can see here i'm using a LAN network to demonstrate uh, this 
So you make sure you have a very good internet connected to your system. Alright guys, so when it gets to this uh, point here, I'm going to accept the license terms and agreements. So here I'll just head over to accept. Alright guys, so at this point here, we have two options here, upgrade this PC now and uh, create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file. So for another PC, so from in this place here, as me are trying to upgrade the edition of Windows they are running, probably are running Windows 7 and they want to upgrade it to Windows 10. So here you select this option, but in this case, we are trying to create a bootable USB flash drive. So we go with the second option, create installation media. So I'll select that and then I'll click on next. And then from here, I'm going to leave it at the default setting here. You can change settings like changing the architecture to the 2 bit. So but I'm going to leave it at 64 bit. So, or you can even leave both. So from here, you can just leave the both of them. But here, I'll be specific about the 64 bit. I'll just leave the 64 bit, and then here I'll use the recommended option from here. Then I'll click on next, and then here you say if you want to install Windows 10 on another partition, you need to create and then run the media to install it. So all I need to do here is just to plug in my USB flash drive, right? So I'll just plug in my USB flash drive. Alright guys, so after connecting the USB flash drive to your system, automatically the Windows should select it. So all you have to do is just to confirm that it has the same drive letter with the one that you have connected on your system. And in my own case here, as you can see, the drive letter here is E and it corresponds with the one that I just connected to my system. So after that, you head over to next. If you need a strong uh, internet connection for a faster uh, download, so here I'm connected to a LAN, so it should be pretty much very fast. So I'm going to skip this part of the video, so we don't get the whole time here. So I'll skip the. Alright guys, so the download uh, is almost done, so as you can see here is uh, is at 83%. Alright, so here our USB flash drive is now ready to for us to use it to install our Windows 10. So here, we we'll just click on next and then need to do some setup cleanup and then after the cleanup, we we'll now have our USB flash drive ready for Windows 10 installation all right guys so here our USB flash drive is now fully ready for Windows 10 installation so I'll head over to find manager and from here you can see that the USB flash drive with the E letter here is now ready for Windows 10 installation here you can see these are the setup files so we can now unplug it and uh, 
start our Windows installation with the USB flash drive, right? Alright guys, so now we are done setting up the USB flash drive. Here we now have a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive. So the next thing now is to test on and see that uh, what we actually did uh, is working. So I'm going to take it out and uh, try to install Windows using this uh, USB flash drive, right? So let's try to install Windows on another system. So guys, so I'm going to plug in the USB flash drive and boot from the USB flash drive. Here is the USB flash drive. So I'll just select on it. The first option, so I'll just click on enter for the setup to start. Alright guys, so it just brought us to this uh, setup page. So from here, you can do your normal uh, Windows uh, installation. So guys, uh, that is it for this tutorial guys. In case if you find any question while you are trying to uh, do this, all you need to do is just to uh, drop down a question in the comment section and I'm going to be attending to that question, right? So guys, if today is your first time of visiting our YouTube page, guys, I would like you to uh, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that in case any time that I drop a new content here, you don't get to uh, miss any of our video and if you find this video helpful give this video a thumbs up and see you in the next video bye for now